The Aeronautical Developmental Agency had issued an expression of interest in October 2020, inviting a private sector company to build the first experimental technology demonstrator of the autonomous stealth unmanned combat air vehicle, and this scaled-down testbed known as SWIFT is scheduled to conduct its first flight by mid of 2021, which will be used to perfect the technologies for the eight times larger unmanned combat aerial vehicle known as the Aura which will make its first flight in 2025, and is expected to enter into service by 2028. It will have electro-optical sensors, an ASA radar, a sophisticated DW suite, internal weapons bay, and the UCAF will have no vertical stabilizers, and will be flown using minimal moving parts to increase the stealth. The engine intake has been designed in a serpentine manner, which completely hides engine blades that are known to reflect radar signature. The entire surface area of the UCAF will be made of lightweight composite material, and will be painted by radar absorbent materials, and its internal systems will be optimized for zero electronic emissions, which will enable the supersonic low observable aircraft to fly undetected into heavily defended enemy airspace while carrying more than 2000 kilograms of payload. France is developing the successor of the ASMP nuclear air-launched cruise missile, and the upcoming Mach 7 capable ASN4G hypersonic air-to-surface system will have a range of more than 1,000 km, and it is planned to be fully operational from French Rafale F-3 standard fighter jets in 2021, which means that it will also be available for the Indian Air Force's Rafale F-3R standard fighter jets. The strategic missile will carry a new medium-energy thermonuclear charge, and it is currently being developed under Project VMAX, by a joint venture between Airbus and Safran. The ANS-4G nuclear air-launched hypersonic cruise missile on Indian Rafales will be a nightmare to the two adversaries, as the highly maneuverable system will create a trajectory that is very difficult to be intercepted by air defense systems. The fresh lockdown situation in UK has compelled British Prime Minister Boris Johnson to call off the visit to New Delhi, that was meant to advance the signing of a government-to-government -government agreement for joint development of a jet engine for the AMCA Mark II fighter jets. British defence firms are scheduled to brief Indian Defence Ministry and Indian Air Force officials next month, with technical and financial presentation of the Tempest programme, but it is not sure if the British firms can arrive in India due to the current situation and the travel advisories, while the Swedish firm Saab which is competing in the 114mm RCA fighter jet tender has already opted out of Aero India 2021. A former Indian Army officer has said, that an unspecified number of soldiers from the Rastri Rifles have reportedly been shifted to the border with China in the Ladakh region. He also said, that the fact that these units have been shifted to the line of actual control with China, should be an indicator enough for the reason behind the deployment. Pakistan has claimed to have successfully tested an indigenously developed 140 km range guided multi-launch rocket system, while experts have said that it is the improved version of the Chinese A-100 systems that were purchased by Pakistan in response to India's acquisition of the improved variant of Russian Smirch. Pakistan is now considering the local production of the A-100E systems, which is a 300mm 10-tube multiple rocket launcher. China is currently developing a 390 km range A200 system with integrated inertial navigation system guidance. Oh,